now? Oh, so something just turned off Steve's camera. So Tom, you can say without a shadow of a doubt that we did not engineer this, right? No, no, I was, I was listening and, and, and watching at the same time and it caught my eye. Territorial prison was closing and Florence was being built in the state prison. Uh, it was really built more like a military prison than just your regular old county jail. Um, lots of poured concrete, lots of steel, and reinforced. Uh, the bars are reinforced, uh, have extra uh, additions to them, so it was really not that easy to saw through them. Uh, you can look at some of the systems later for the poly jail cell uh, operating system. Uh, lots of fail safes. Uh, so once things were closed down and locked, they were closed down and locked. All right, everybody. So we have Kelly. She is a volunteer here at the Gila County Jail. Yes. And uh, she's been working here on and off for several years and has had a lot of experiences. Unfortunately for Kelly, we set her up to do this interview in the one place in this jail she hates to be. I have been a volunteer here for about six years now, seven years maybe. Um, and I absolutely love the building. I love the entire building, except I do not like the second floor of the jail for obvious reasons. Um, it's just, and I don't know, I can't really explain the feeling. Um, I don't like to be chased. And the second I step over that threshold, I feel like something is right behind me, like right on top of me, almost chasing me. So when I do give my tours, I, um, I let them come in first. I don't tell anybody about anything in here until we leave. I let them tell me about it. And usually it's the females that feel, um, that feel something. That being said, it's because there is a female in here. Her name is Jenny. Okay. Um, she, is some type of a spirit that roams around in here. We do know that she has done quite a bit of time here in the jail for prostitution. She did run a few brothels back in the early 1900s, um, or like the teens, um, and she broke the law. And they said, fine, we're done with you. We're locking you up for a while until you can learn to respect the law. So she was surrounded by men. This is the perfect place for her, right? She's surrounded by men. So even to this day, she still likes to be in here. These are her men because there's just not females that run around in here. There's men as well that run around here. So Jenny doesn't like when other women come She in. does not like that we are alive. She feels threatened by us. And what a perfect place for her to be. These are all her men. So do you think she might be a little pissed that my name is Jen? Absolutely. Like I have, honestly, I've got goosebumps right now um, talking about it here. I just, I had, and honestly, I never ever used to believe in this stuff. I just like the history. I love the history of Arizona. Oh my God, I love Arizona history. There's been times where I've kept coming here by myself with my husband, and I'll make him come up here. And he'll come up here in the dark, no problem. Me, there's no way. You could not pay me any amount of money, and I would not come up here. I have had to come up here during the day by myself, and I refuse to look over here. I won't come in here. I won't even look over here. But I just feel like there's something glaring me down, and I know it's her. There, um, there was one other time that I was giving a tour here doing, during our um, Ghost Flow tour. We had the jail open. And it was myself, it was 11.30 at night, it was myself, another lady and her husband. 
It was the last tour of the night. He came in and took a picture, uh, pretty much where we're standing at right now. Her and I stood out in the hallway um, because she didn't like, she had been in here already and she didn't like the way she felt. He comes in here and he takes three pictures, all within split seconds of each other. And um, the first one he takes is of all of this open, like, like it is now. The second one he took it without his flash. And you see where the sink is at right here. Then you see the set of bars right here. And then you see the window on the other side. There's literally a figure of a woman. Right. Right here? Right there. Look beyond, she, but she's on the other side of the bars. Right. Now remember, we're, we're, we're giving our ghost of globe tour. It's a tour of all the haunted buildings around the town. Look. So on the second floor, we've got, or I'm sorry, the first floor, we're showing a video of old pictures of around globe back in the early fun days, the heydays, you know? Yep. You literally see in that second picture that was just literally taken a split second before the first picture, a woman. You can see the outline of her, she almost looks like me from behind. She's holding onto the bars and she's looking out the window watching this video. The third picture, she's completely gone. I can I was sending those pictures. There was another lady, I was sitting out in the hall, and a woman comes running out and she's frantic, just, I mean, she's flushed white, um, screaming that she's gonna get sick, and I thought she was having a heart attack. Well, over in the corner back here, outside of the, the cells, over in that corner right there, there always seems to be some type of a negative energy. Just that one right here? Right back over there, yes. Oh, fantastic. Well, we, that's where we always pick up lots of negative energy. But um, the woman comes running out into the hall, and she's like, there's something in there. It pushed me. Um, I don't know. She couldn't breathe. She, she wanted to get sick. And um, she was so afraid uh, of what touched her on her back that when she had a scratch mark on her neck, and you could tell that she did not scratch and herself. she came out of here. She came running out of here. Nettie is a very scary um, person, spirit, whatever, so watch out because your name is Jennifer and you're very pretty, so. <laughs> so Jenny, if you're here, yes. you and I are gonna have to hang out. Yes, you are. Yeah, oh, yeah. She, she, she's probably already on top of us since the place has been closed down for a while now. Yeah. Um, they've missed us. They so have. if you're here, Jenny, I'd love for you to come knock on something. Make some noise for us while we're doing this interview. Yeah, yeah um, I do know that I was standing against the first time I ever joined in on a paranormal tour here. I was standing against this wall, this cell right here, and I literally was standing there with my back against the wall. Okay, and I'm telling myself, okay, I'm only here for the history of you. If you can hear and know what I'm thinking, please do not bother me. Do not scare me. Don't do anything to me. And as soon as I got done saying that little prayer to myself and whoever was in here. I literally felt three fingers go down the go down the center of my back. I started screaming, almost crying, ran out of here. But yeah, it's um, it does happen. There's very strange things that happen in here. But if you provoke provoke them enough, they'll come out. They will. So so, and certainly that's something I'm known to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. To a certain degree, I have a limit. But I'm certainly I'm known to provoke to get a response, mm -hmm. especially if I know that they're here and they're not challenging me right where they're not coming to me so is there a place here that you've heard that people challenged and stuff generally happens mm -hmm. right where we're standing right here absolutely right where we're standing perfect that's definitely interesting yeah. so uh we're gonna actually send her up here alone guys <laughs> we're sending her up here with a camera mm -hmm. and uh since this is the place she hates to be and certainly because they know her we're gonna do something we've never done before, and we've gotten authorization, signed disclosures, and we're gonna send her up here alone and see if she can elicit a response from maybe Jenny or another spirit that might be here, and uh, we'll uh, be watching from our nerve center. All right, so we are shooting up our initial B-roll footage, and I'm gonna head into cell block two by myself. Hey, Jenny, are you up here? Jenny. Hey, Jenny, are you up here? Jenny. Oh, Jenny, Jenny. I heard you like to touch people, Jenny. 
Can you touch me? Come on, Jenny. I know you like to touch people. I'm not gonna coerce you, I just, I'm here to talk to you. I heard someone found you. As I was walking down the hallway, I got scratched by something. And when I got home, I had found these three scratch marks right on the inside of my leg and later found out that I'm not the first person to be scratched here. Okay. So this, guys, is the walkway that leads up to the third floor. And apparently another investigator that was here wouldn't even come up here to get his gear. He was scared of something that was preventing him from doing that. And this leads down to where the trustees were. So you can see that this room is being used for storage, but this was actually the trustees housing on the third floor. So this was one open bay where the trustees had cots and uh, we're given a little more freedom to move about, so we're gonna head over. What the hell? What was it? That just got thrown at me. Hmm. Oh, Guys, this just got thrown at me. This came flying off from somewhere and hit me in the foot. You'll notice that there's a string attached to this piece of wood. This room is used to store art sets for the building next door, and at no point was anyone else in the room to throw this piece of wood. The string itself is only about a foot and a half long, and we just wanted to bring attention to this to say, hey, you know, this isn't something we engineered when it got thrown. That is crazy. You saw that, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Holy smokes. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Wow. Well, whoever threw that at me, thank you. All right, so we're gonna head up to the catwalk here and Tom's gonna show us where they used to walk them over to get their final convictions before being sentenced and some of them to their death. So this catwalk is uh, really old and not very trustworthy from what we've been told. So we're gonna be stupid careful here. But as you can see, this is the door that led to the final destination. These people would go through this door, find out if they were gonna gain their freedom, or for some of them, if they were gonna be sentenced to death. And they would come back from that door. After receiving that sentence, they would make their walk across this catwalk for the last time, their last chance of getting fresh air for some of them before finding their way back into this jail. Gila County Jail, this historic jail opened in 1910 in conjunction with its courthouse that opened in 1907. This place here has been known to have dark energies, suicides, even a jailhouse murder. And within these walls, a man named Kinsley Olds was actually murdered on this property from a gentleman who shot him from the courthouse. 
And so tonight, we're gonna investigate this place. We have some new technology we're working with tonight called the Green Dot Mapping System. And what that system is going to do is allow us to see if anyone walks between our mapping device and the wall. And uh, we're gonna see if that device will help us capture uh, a figure. So on the second floor of this particular property, they have had a full body apparition caught on camera. They've had a news reporter attacked. And so tonight, we're gonna investigate that area. Also, we're going to investigate Kinsley Old's cell. And then after we're done with that, we're gonna move on and check out the third floor where I've already had objects thrown at me. So welcome to the Gila County Jail. All right, guys, so Tom is going to be locking us in and he's gonna be locked in with us tonight. We are locked in jail. So we are here with Tom and Steve and uh, we are in the main front area where the administrative things were done inside this jail. And so they have currently a seating area where they do video orientations as well as a bunch of historical pieces. And then something brand new that we're gonna to investigate tonight is the nooses. And so these just got added to the museum here and we're going to be investigating this area tonight. This place is so crazy. I've never seen anything like it. The history within just these first four rooms is insane. So we're headed up to the second floor right now. And Steve and I are headed to where that full body apparition was caught on camera in the back of this cell block. And we have set up a green dot mapping system inside of here, as well as set up a static camera where one of the inmates committed suicide. And uh, we're gonna head back there, check it out. So we set up a static camera back here in this green dot mapping system. I'm gonna show it to you in the dark here, guys. Allows us to catch any apparitions that walk through our mapping. So we have this lining, the entire corridor. It's actually a hallway here. You can't see it real well. But when our shadows block it, it actually blocks out the mapping. So that's kind of cool. So that full body apparition was actually captured right here in this window. The, where I'm standing yeah. is where they caught it. What? Look at my camera. Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. Check this out. Wow. So something just turned off Steve's camera. Holy crap. That's crazy. As soon as I close the window, I guess they don't like the window closed. No, and this is where I got scratched, guys, the other day. I actually got scratches on my legs. We're gonna show you those. I have three distinct scratch marks right down my legs. Steve? What? Wow. So Steve's camera keeps shutting off in this exact spot. And Steve's been filming with this thing for months with no problems. That's crazy. Are you here with us right now? I mean, I'm off kilter now, but. All right, we'll have to switch you out to a secondary camera. Yeah, I'm gonna switch gimbals, try that other one. That's crazy. So we're gonna head down. We're gonna have Steve swap out his camera just to make sure he doesn't have any more issues. And then we're gonna begin this investigation. Hey guys, so we're headed upstairs, Steve and I, and we are going to lock Kim in solitary confinement. All right, any inmates up here? I'll let you know. Kim's going to the meditation room because she has not been good. So if you misbehave, we're gonna walk you in there with her. Hey 
got a chair. What? You got a chair. So we're gonna lock him in here all by ourselves. So we are headed up to the second floor with Kelly right now. We have Kim locked up in solitary confinement right now. And so we are headed up to the second floor to lock Kelly up in the second floor tank. The one place that she does not like to be and we are going to bring her up there and Aaron, lock her in. Aaron, I don't like it. So we're gonna leave her with this camera and a K2 meter. And she is going to be on her own inside this cell block. So the one place that Kelly doesn't like to be is in this back corner. So we're gonna go ahead and lock her up in this cell. In this cell here? Actually, oven doesn't close. Let's go to this one. Okay. So we're gonna leave Kelly here and uh, She's going to uh, see if she can make contact with any of these spirits that just don't seem to like her. Remember, we are not coming back for you. I know you're not. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <I> scream. <laughs> <Or help. laughs> oh boy. This is my first time in jail. I've never been in jail before, especially in an old jail like this, 1910. Okay, well, it's just you and me, guys, and you know I don't like this floor. So, let's see. If there's anybody in here, can you please make this light go to red? Jenny, are you here? Is anybody here? Oh my God. If you can hear me and you're here with me, please just make my light turn to red. I just want to know if you're here. Headed up to the catwalk. Okay, so we're heading up to the catwalk right now. Steve doesn't break his fall. And uh, we're just going to see if we can interact with anything that's up here. Oh, sh no. Jen? At this moment, things start to get interesting up near the catwalk as Steve's EMF detector spikes well over 40. Jen, I'm at about 40. Really? Oh, crap. Mine's, mine, okay guys, for the record, my K2 is freaking out too. Um, mine is in the 30s. Wow, just went green. Is there someone up here on this catwalk with us right now? Are you going to jail today? Is this it? Are you this ready? Your freedom? You ready to see your court date? Ready to be taken away?
Right after Steve puts his camera down, something bumps into it. Steve's behind it, I'm in front of it, and it kind of jerks. And this is the second indication that we're not alone. How long you sat before? They're putting you in here permanently? You're never gonna leave? What's your name, inmate? Is your name Kinsley? How about Jenny? Can you tell me why you're being sentenced to this jail? Whoa. Jenny. Whoa. 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 Did you just feel like something brushed past you? Yeah. Yeah, I said whoa at the same time as you. I just felt like this rush of cold air and my K2 freaked out. And your EMF detector is red. Like it's, I, I got like huge readings inside and I'm doing this. Was that you? Jen, I go green right yeah. here. I step inside. That's great, dude. So I felt that air brush by me. My K2 meter freaked out and yours is bright red. It's at 45 inside. Set it outside the room. It's dropping down. Who's in line? Talk to me inmate. Who's hoping for the freedom? So all that audio I just recorded too, Steve, on the voice recorder, nothing's coming through. It's dead silent. Everything I just asked, it recorded it dead silent. Guys, I want you to see this, that this is actually playing right now and there is no audio coming from it from the questions that I just asked on this catwalk. Turn this on. This is crazy. Helio County Jail. You got something to say? Talk to me. Talk to me on my device. It's listening. Did Speaking you mess with the audio on my device right now? You can talk. Can to you me. tell me what happened to the audio? Tell me your name. That I was recording. I'm on Oculus. Come talk to it. You've seen this before. Did you blow by Steve and I? Did you walk past? Were you the one that was jumped? Were you pushed? Did you slip and fall? It's pretty steep down here. My voice yeah. recorder, Steve? My voice recorder is recording no audio. Asked if you fell deep. How, how deep did you fall? Like right here, I'm getting a ton. But I step off That's here. crazy. It's green. That's insane. Don't tell me there's, there's no power line, there's nothing on. That is so why crazy. So you turn my EMF? So guys, I want you to understand Voice recorder is supposed to record audio, and we're getting nothing. Steve's getting intelligent responses on his ovulus, and so we are going to head back inside here, just inside the door, to see if we can get anything on this device. Somebody, please, if you're here, just give me some type of sign, okay? But please know I'm not here to antagonize you. I'm not here to make you mad. I'm only here because I love your history and I love that you made history for me to enjoy for the future. So just please know that. But I'm not here to cause you any harm. And if there's one person I could see, it would be Zachariah Booth. I would love to see Zachariah Booth. So if you're here, can you please make 
my little reader change colors. Please make my reader change colors. And I'm not gonna be mean to you. I'm not gonna be mean. I'm not gonna yell and antagonize you or provoke you. Just show me something. Show me anything. Oh my goodness gracious. I couldn't even imagine this. I can't even get out of here unless I wanted to. Oh my gosh. It's so boring in here. No wonder they draw the walls. Please, please, please make my light go red. No, I'm not. I'm sitting still. Oh my gosh, my lights are totally moving right now. It's at this moment that a shadow passes between the wall and the cell behind Kelly. Tom is at the nerve center, Kim is locked in solitary confinement, and Steve and I are in the open area of the cell block in front of Kelly. So this shadow was completely unexplainable. We don't know what it was and we were not able to debunk this. Just do something. Quit making the ways. Shake the bar. Now I know what you felt like. Now I know what you felt like being locked up in here. Mm. Okay, now, okay, my light is flashing yellow, it's green, red.
How you doing, Kelly? Good. My light's going to a little bit of red. Okay. Yep, I'm doing good. Hey, Steve, you want to open that up? Yeah. Let's let her out of there. understand Kelly what was that like I, I was scared at first I was I'm not gonna lie I was scared at first it's claustrophobic I will never commit a crime in my life though <laughs> I don't want to go in there I don't so, want to go there I want you guys to understand when Ghost Adventures was here Kelly wouldn't even do this for Ghost Adventures I wouldn't. so this is an absolute honor to have Kelly do this for us that was awesome yeah All right, guys, so we're gonna let Kelly loose now. She's earned her freedom. And uh, I need to Bye. how does that make you feel? I need to leave. You're gonna stop and check on Kim. How you doing, inmate? Good, bored. Nothing happening? All right. Come on. Earn your freedom. Yeah. For now, if you're good. <laughs> While Steve and I were up on the catwalk, we caught a full body apparition on the camera down in the nerve center. Steve and I were having issues with our EMF detectors, our voice recorders, as well as the cameras moving. And this is just incredible footage verified by the staff of Gila County Jail. Yeah, no shadow. No shadow. Watch her. Yeah, no, she leaves. So Tom, you can say without a shadow of a doubt that we did not engineer this, right? No, no, I was, I was listening and, and, and watching at the same time. And it caught my eye. Damn. I almost it's want to awesome. catch it. I almost want it's to catch so it awesome. for a minute later because about two minutes later, we both felt something walk past well, us. Well, that's that's what I was, that's what I was hearing. Because I'm right below you, I can hear your dialogue sitting. Here. And that's when it really, really caught me, you know, wait a minute, they've got stuff brushing by and here's this shadow, you know, it wasn't really even a shadow, it was like a white. White? Yeah. Yeah, it's like the opposite of a shadow. Yeah, like a negative. Um, that's insane. All right, I need, some, I, need, I need a full body apparition in that mapping system. There's something in front of me tonight, and I'm, I'm set. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, I just want to point something out. That video was just captured up here on this catwalk and two men jumped to their death from this catwalk and we just caught a full body apparition on camera, y'all. That is absolutely insane to think that from this catwalk that they jumped and we just captured something hanging, like almost like jumping off the balcony. It is huge, huge, huge. This is incredible footage right now. And we have staff here 
from the Gila County Jail who can validate that this is evidence and this is legit. The staff here were watching our cameras. This is incredible. We feel